I was contacted a uh, while back by somebody named Jackie from Remora regarding some posts that I've made on uh, YouTube and some other forums as far as the DeSantis nemesis being su either superior to or equal to the Remora holster. She contacted me and says, hey, uh, tell you what, we'll send you a holster and you can dare it and pair. And we're sure that you're going to find out that this is better than the Nemesis. So I'm thinking, mm, okay, we'll give it a shot. So they send me not just your basic Remora holster, but also a reinforced top model and a spare magazine holster. So I'm thinking, hey, cool, this is interesting. So I'm like, okay, we'll give it a fair shake. We'll see what happens. So after about mm, the first week, this thing, I got about it. D's, way better. Let me get into the details of why. First off, construction of materials that they use. They use more of a silicone kind of based rubber. It's a very sticky, very flexible, grabby rubber kind. Um, not quite like wetsuit, that's more of a neoprene, but this is definitely a rubber material. It's just more flexible and grabby. And again, it's more like silicone. Whereas this piece of crap here is kind of like the only thing I can think of is, uh, you ever know an old basketball it gets kind of kind of worn and smooth, gets that kind of hardened rubbers where you try and grab the basketball, fingertips slip off of there, especially if you get any kind of sweat on your hands? That's this. Don't like that. Doesn't work very good for anything. So even after just the first week, and this is like in the dead of summer, you know, July, that I was trying this thing out, sweat all over this thing, it still just stays where it needs to be, protects the gun, even with the basic, without the uh, sweat guard on there. I mean, all but the last little top eighth there is covered. So if you have the sweat guard option, it comes up a little higher and it goes over this way, covers all that. So, that's nice. Another thing that they have is options. Remora's got a wonderful set of choices for customizing and made to order uh, as far as their holsters go. You can get, again, you have your basic low profile holster. You have the reinforced top holster. They also have a spare magazine pouch uh, attached uh, option and the aforementioned sweat guard option, which, like I said, goes up here, kind of squared off like that. So, all really nice options. Also, they have the separate spare mag holder, which I'll get into in a little bit. So, better rubber, also better fitment, because this, at least in this particular example, the P11, this one here, if you look at the packaging, it says right on there, first thing, kel PF9, P11. Whereas, this guy, the Nemesis, was sized originally for the Glock 26, and then they say, oh yeah, by the way, it also kind of fits this. Well, kind of fit indeed, because this, before I modified this thing, which explains this little holes you're seeing on the screen there, it used to slip all the way down in there, past this top seam where the rear sight would hang up on there. You go to pull it out, the whole thing comes out. Fail! So, yeah, yeah, not good. Not the case with the Remora goes in there, the farthest it goes, because it has a closed muzzle design and it is made specifically for this gun, that's as far as it goes. Right dead even with the top of it. It is not going to hang up on there. Comes in and out. Easy. Ooh, yeah. So, again with the reinforced top, same deal. As far as you can get it in there, I mean, we're just packing it in there. Doesn't go any farther than that. So, excellent fitment. So another win on that part. Another win over that thing. Lifetime warranty made in America. Small family owned company with excellent customer service. These guys are the nicest folks you're going to hear from or meet if you get the privilege of meeting them. Which, unfortunately I haven't met them, but I would love to. These are great people. They will bend over backwards, go out of their way to do whatever they can to make it right for you if it either doesn't fit exactly the way you want it to, if for whatever reason something, I don't know, I've, I have not had any problems with the construction on this, but if something were to come apart or whatever, no questions asked, just say, hey, doesn't work, I'm not happy with it, they'll either refund it or they'll make it right. That's awesome. 
These guys, they just turn these suckers out. If it fits, great. If it doesn't, <laughs> you're out that much money. So, kind of get what you pay for, you know? This thing cost me about 12 bucks, I think, off Cheaper Than Dirt. And, yeah, you do what you, get what you pay for. Cheaper, but a lesser holster. This thing, a basic one, about 25 bucks, I think, is what they're on, plus shipping. Which still is not a lot of money, especially considering the fact that this holster, one holster by itself, will do so many different things, particularly with this uh, model of gun, the P11. Not only will this work in the waistband, like so, easy on, easy access, easy off, and if you use the reinforced top, easy on, easy draw, easy reholstering, and easy out. Another option with P11. Pocket carry. Now I know that the P11 is not ideal, and it's kind of hard to show this right here, but see, it's pulling the pocket out, but the holster stays put no matter what. And this, again, is just the basic one here. But, ta uh, Pretty neat, huh? Also, with these holsters, these clipless holsters, which a lot of people don't like the idea because it doesn't have any straps, clips, or other such doohickeys on there. The fact that it doesn't have those is part of the reason why this thing is so awesome. You don't have any screws to adjust or loosen or any holes to poke studs through or any of that nonsense. If you want to adjust for location, you can go cross draw, you can go appendix carry, three o'clock, four o'clock, small the back, any position on your waist will work. And as far as, say, if you go with a larger model, the uh, Sigma here, you can adjust for not just location, but you can go with angle, forward, straight up and down, if you want it up higher, if you want it far down deep, wherever you want it, however you want it, you stick it there and it stays. Does not shift. This one for the Sigma I just got today actually, believe it or not. Been wearing it all day. It's not exactly hot out right now because it is about mm, 79 outside, but you still sweat, especially if you get in and out of your car all day long, walking around all day. I've been all over Water World, I've been going in and out of some stores, walk around doing house chores, scooping cat boxes, vacuuming, uh, cleaning toilets. I mean, I'm just, you know, all day long I've been wearing this thing. It has not moved at all. It has been right here, slightly forward canted, 3 o'clock position, comfortable as heck, blows anything away that I've tried so far, or made so far. Um, if you saw some of my other videos, one of them was the uh, how to make a cheap in the waistband holster out of leather. That's what I've been using for this thing here, and it was, I thought, the best, but it's kind of a pain to put on and once you get it on there, it kind of moves up and down with the belt. It kind of chafes up against your side. And this does not. It's Once it's there, it moves with you. You bend over, it bends with you. It doesn't, doesn't rub on you. It doesn't make you raw. So, and it's also a heck of a lot better padding than just plain leather. I mean, it's kind of a, kind of got like a little a foam, but I don't know. There's some kind of a material between the the inside nylon there and the outer rubber it gives us some cushioning so all these little sharp edges and pokey regions on the gun you don't feel them so big huge bones with that now as far as this little guy here the spare mag holder um, admittedly for the P11 in particular the mags don't really work too well with these because the mags are pretty short on this however for the Sigma perfect fit. Same would be for like a Glock 19, Glock 17, uh, even a government model 1911, like the 7 and 8 round mags. Works great with those. Another thing about these, fits a flashlight really well. Same to be said for pepper spray or say, I don't have really a large knife here, but a, uh, if you have a large folding knife, works for that. 
keeps it the same position, keeps it upright like so. And you have this in your back pocket. That easy access, the uh, shape of this, especially with the magazine in particular, keeps it nice and flat. It looks like you got something back there, but nobody can really tell what the heck it is. If anything, it probably looks like a wadded up handkerchief, which is not going to raise a lot of alarms. Whereas, again, referring to uh, DeSantis here, their little spare mag holder that I've been also using, that looks like I don't know what, but it's really, really bad printing. I have, I kind of bought this on a whim, it was used two bucks. I haven't used this thing for squat because it sucks, honestly. So, again, Remora wins on that one. So, kind of in summary here, versus the, uh, oh shit. So kind of in summary here, DeSantis Nemesis, or any really DeSantis pocket holster of any sort, versus the Remora, no contest. Hard rubber, kind of, you know, haphazard fit, eh, who needs them? Made to order, made well, made in USA, made by folks that rule. These are the nicest darn folks. So seriously, if you're looking for any kind of in the waistband holster, or any kind of pocket holster if you have a small enough pistol, this is where you want to go. Get with these guys, get on their website, remoraholsters.com. Check out their fitment charts, check out the options that they have available, place an order, love it. Anyways, for what it's worth, that's my two cents on that. Thanks for watching.